Are you tired of watching the hobby massacre that is National Treasures football yet? The hobby doesn't want to hear it. Immaculate Collegian first off the line was definitely the better value in football last week. Let's talk about it. What's going on YouTube? Happy Monday everybody. RGL coming at you with a brand new video and it might be a hot take. I'm sorry. Immaculate Collection Collegiate Football first off the line was the better football release of last week. I know a lot of people were hyped for National Treasures Football which came out at $3,000 a box. And when the dust settled and I truly, truly mean the dust settled. Really cannot avoid dust. It's everywhere. I think we can all agree that National Treasures is a, uh, it's a Ferrari with a Nissan engine. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. You guys don't want to hear that Collegiate products provide value. For one National Treasures box, you can rip a full case of this. And you cannot tell me that a full case of Immaculate, on average, now some boxes of NT, you're going to hit a $10,000 card. Sure. On average, most cases of Immaculate Collection, first off the line, and even some hobby, are going to provide more value than a single box of NT. And I'm not wrong. We're going to talk about NT tomorrow, but I know that I'm not wrong. Even though you guys don't like college and you don't want to hear it, at some point I'm going to have to get my flowers for being right. And I know what you're going to say, but run good. You break a couple times a week. You're just trying to shill Immaculate Collection Collegiate. That's not true. I could sell the three cases of first off the line I got for the exact same price that I could break them at. And I could just sell them to somebody else. Uh, so, I don't shill on this channel. I tell you what I like. I tell you what I don't like. And I like Immaculate Collegiate. I do not like National Treasures. We ripped a full case of it on a Thursday last week. And it was highly disappointing. But we're going to talk about that tomorrow. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I appreciate a like on my content. First off the line was sold at Dutch Auction last week. It floored at $476, I believe, which was $200 lower than the lowest pre-sell at the time. After the first off the line auction, all the pre-sells jumped down to $500 a box. Funny how that works out. Funny, funny how that always seems to happen. Outright price manipulation. Today I'm excited for this one. They do not. Okay, so let's get the the you know let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. Uh, Will Greer autos not in. Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud autos not in. Arch Manning and Caleb Williams in. Okay, we we just replaced two of those guys. With two equally hyped guys, maybe Arch Manning even hyped more than any of the names that I mentioned right there. Um, so you can say, hey, the top three or top three QBs are not in. Anthony Richardson is in, so three of the four QBs are in it. Sure, uh, Anthony Richardson is in, Arch Manning is in, and like I said, I do believe that most of these boxes are gonna provide as much, if not more, value than your standard NT NFL box. You you might not like the college uniforms in that case, you know, don't rip I'm at college and don't rip NT unless you uh, are just looking for a lottery ticket. There is everything on the back. We're looking for those bowl patches. Uh, also in the first off the line, we're going to get, I believe, one base number to 13 and one RPA number to 13 as well. But we're looking for bowl logos. We are looking for 101s. Let's face it. I'm just looking for Arch Manning. Uh, Richardson would be nice. Bijan would be nice. JSN would be nice. You get this nice tin. Uh, NT also looks nice, but this one plays a lot nicer. It looks nice, plays nice. This one plays a lot nicer than uh, NT sure does. So I couldn't bring myself to dome a personal box on the channel, but when this one uh, comes out and Hobby does release on Wednesday, I believe, I was very, very excited for this one. And I don't know if you guys know this or not. Like, I'm not, I think I see a redemption. I'm not a huge college guy. Like, I watch college football, I watch college basketball. The Collegiate products, the value is just there, and I keep on saying it, and nobody listens to me. And, uh, yeah, so it is what it is. I love college draft picks basketball. I love Collegiate football. And, yeah, even though I'm not the biggest college fan in terms of, you know, I prefer pro sports to watch, when it comes to ripping, man, some of the best value is right here. Uh, we are going to kick off to 75. That's going to be Patty from Texas Tech. There you go. Starting off with a nice base card. You know, you base cards always on top. You know, starting off the box, good, solid, you know, $15, $20 card there, maybe. I do sell a lot on Com C. Uh, a card like this on Com C, you usually get a premium over if you were to, like, auction it off or something like that. 
Uh, we're going to get six cards total today. Two mems and then three autos. First mem from Pitt. I guess that could be uh, Kenny Pickett, couldn't it? Looks kind of older. Maybe, looks maybe, Yeah, I was going to say Dan Marino. 65 of 99 Dan Marino. I was going to say it looks like a little bit of an older helmet right there. Um, not from any specific? No, it's player worn. Look at that. Try to find yourself some player worn materials in National Treasures. You might find one or two per case. It it's really rough. Michael Tom we we hit a Michael Thomas mem and it was off the rack, not from any specific game or event. I was like, what the hell? Alright. We have an auto Ooh, we're starting to get our autos. I like it. So one mem and maybe the duel? Who is this? Roshan Johnson, six of ninety-nine. I can't tell you too much about him. Like I said, I'm not a huge college guy, so you get me out of the first round of the NFL draft, and I'm I'm a little lost. Roshan Johnson, six of ninety-nine, gonna kick off our autographs. We're quick video today. I think I see a redemption in the center. I don't know if Arch Manning is live or a redemption. That is going to be Kenny McIntosh, seventy-one of ninety-nine. On the patch auto, so we still have our FOTL exclusive RPA to 13, and then we also have a redemption in the center. I'm wondering who is a redemption. Uh, maybe a dual autograph, the dual autograph checklist, the triple autograph checklist for this product is actually pretty decent as well. Um, so let's go ahead. Here we go, redemption. If we can find it. All right, our redemption. Good luck, me. Signature moves. I do know that Arch Manning is on the signature moves checklist. Card number 16. That is Devon Archains. Ah, oh. oh, that's a little. Uh, I knew. I know Arch Manning is on the signature moves checklist. Man. All right. Well, talked to talked a good game on this product, and we're down to our FOTL RPA. And like I said, I do think that overall, from what I've seen ripped on this one so far, and just what I've seen with NT, I do believe that most boxes of this will provide more value than NT, NT on average. Uh, here is our RPA. Okay. FOTL exclusive. The Wildcats. Deuce Vaughn. I think we just got a bad box. 8 of 13 on the Deuce Vaughn. Uh, yeah, I skunked out here, but like I said... On this channel most of the time, you know, I, I give you my opinion. We rip one box only. So uh, if you look at the if you look at the results here, uh, the results don't look great. I think I got the worst box in this case. I, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, Devon uh, Devon Archain, Kenny McIntosh to 99, introductions of Roshan Johnson, Dan Marino. Yeah. I think I just took the worst uh, the worst box in the case. So I strongly believe that this is going to be a solid product uh if it comes out at around 500 for hobby on wednesday this is first off the line with the one additional fotl parallel this box is did floor at 467 bucks um overall i like the product like i said ar50 or er, uh, anthony richardson autos are in you've got uh caleb williams you've got arch manning good dual and triple auto checklist i believe there's also quad autos there might be one of all the receivers taken in the first round with JSN. That would be a pretty cool one. But we definitely got a floor box here. Definitely a really, really rough box. Um, but we are going to be ripping some of this in our group breaks. And I'm pretty sure that on average, these boxes are going to provide as much, if not the same amount of value as a single NT box. Again, I could rip about four of these FOTL boxes for the cost of one uh, National Treasures box. So... Uh, like I said, I, I just, I feel like the values here, NT, we're going to talk about that one tomorrow in depth a little bit. I'm going to show you all the hits from a full case that we did, uh, this past Thursday. Uh, I think I'm just taking one for the team here, which means I hope that somebody in my breaks gets a big, uh, Arch Manning or a big Anthony Richardson RPA. That is going to do it for me. Hot take RGL in the house today. I know what the comment section is going to look like in this one. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. We'll catch you next time on Down the Road.